If you got some problems, we'll be there to solve them. We're a squad who can do the job. We're a squad who can do the job. The monster is in trouble. We'll be there on the double. We're the squad who can do the job. We're the squad who can do the job. The monster mask squad. Terrific, horribly horrific Monster Mat Squad! Trouble at the Monster Daycare Center! Look! I made a number three, Max! <laughs> good one, Goo. Oh, I mean, good three! <laughs> Back to being me, instead of number three! <laughs> and the scream screen always surprises Goo! The Scream Screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrobia, there's a monster in need! And whenever a monster needs our care... The, the Monster Mask Squad will be there! It's Mrs. Mopley, the monster daycare teacher. Hi, Mrs. Mopley! I'm so glad you're there, Monster Mask Squad. The mini monsters need your help. They're so sad. Oh, that's not good. Why are they so sad? Well, today is... Scary Face Balloon Day at the Monster Daycare Center. Scary Face Balloons! <laughs> I love Scary Face Balloons! <laughs> so do the mini monsters. They especially love to play stare and scare with the balloons. Stare and scare? What's that? It's a game where you stare at a scary face balloon for as long as you can until it scares you. The mini monsters love being scared and they laugh and scream and run all over the place when they play stare and scare. That sounds like monsterific fun. Yes, but unfortunately, the mini monsters get excited and run around and then they let go of the balloons and the balloons float away. That's what's making the mini monsters so sad. We can't let those mini monsters stay sad. The Monster Mask Squad will save the day. I knew I could count on you. Hmm. We need to help those mini monsters. Huh? Do you think we can use Monster Math to do that? For sure, because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Yes! We need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word monster! monster! Today's secret monster math word is light. Next time you see word monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Light! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see word monster again. Oh, right. I always forget. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's hurry over to the Monster Daycare Center. <laughs> Scary balloon! Oh, mini monsters! Do not scare the nice monster math squad! Woo! Ah. Ah. Woo. Woo. Thank heavens you're here! The mini monsters can't play stare and scare if their balloons keep floating away! Wow! The balloons are so light! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, light! Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, light! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor! A monster lifting a big heavy rock. A little. A monster lifting a small light ball? A lot. Hard to lift the big heavy rock. Easy to lift the small light ball. Uh-oh, very bouncy small light ball. A small light ball under a big heavy rock. Bit squished, but at least it's not bouncing away. Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. 
Now we know all about heavy and light. I bet that will help us figure out how to keep the mini monster's balloon from floating away. Okay, we know that the balloons are too light, and that's why they're floating away. Just like the small light ball kept bouncing away. Oh, we need to put something heavy on them to hold them down. We could put a big heavy rock on them. <laughs> that didn't quite work, you. But you've got the right idea. Putting something on the light balloons will make them more heavy. And we know that light and heavy are math words. So we can definitely do this. Let's, Let's do math! math. We need to find something to put on the balloons that is heavy enough to keep them from floating up, up, and away. But not so heavy that they burst. Come on, let's look! Aha! I bet this will work! Ta-da! A flower! <laughs> it's a lot lighter than the rock. Uh-oh! <laughs> the flower was too light to hold the balloon down. We need something heavier than a flower. And lighter than a rock. Not too heavy and not too light. What else around here could we put on a balloon? Help us find something not too heavy and not too light that we could put on the balloon to make it heavier. What about this ring from the ring toss game? It's heavier than a flower, but lighter than a rock. <laughs> it's working! The balloon's not bursting or floating away. Not too heavy and not too light. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Scary balloon! <laughs> Silly monsters! We figured out how to keep the balloons from floating away. We, we did, did the math! We did, did the monster math! math. <laughs> well, we put rings on all the balloons. Yes, but now some of the mini monsters are having trouble with the squiggly serpent seesaw. You're right! That poor little mini monster is stuck up in the air! I don't know what to do. That mini monster can't make the squiggly serpent seesaw come down. Ooh, ooh, I can get the seesaw to come down. Oh, oh it's very heavy. Oh. Uh oh, Goo, that's not a safe place to. Ah! <laughs> a Goo trampoline. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Silly monsters. Back to the problem. The bigger monster is too heavy to lift. And the little monster can't make the seesaw go down. He's too light. Did you just see word monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, light, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, light! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor. The hungry monster wants to eat the big, heavy piece of cheese. The hungry monster cannot reach the big, heavy piece of cheese. Help him eat the cheese, please. A small, light piece of cheese on the scale. And another. And another. Awful. Thanks, Math Monitor. Hmm. Heavy and light things can balance when you make them the same weight. You just need more light things than heavy things. That's good to know. Look at the seesaw. That big monster on the ground is heavier than the little monster up in the air. So we need to add something else to the side that is too light, making it the same weight so they can balance. But what? We don't have any cheese. Uh, heavy and light will make this seesaw all right. It's all math to the Monster Math Squad. Let's do Monster Math! Look, that end went down a bit when the mini monster jumped on it. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes! 
We just need to add more mini monsters to that side to make it heavier and balance the seesaw. Mini monsters, let's see who can bounce on goo and land on the seesaw. It's working! The seesaw is lowering! But the mini monsters are still too light. More mini monsters! Bounce! <laughs> to find a mini monster who's not too heavy and not too light to balance everything out. Ooh. Mm, not too heavy and not too light. <laughs> you should be just about right. Perfect. It's working! The mini monsters are perfectly balanced. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, look! There's an empty, squiggly serpent seesaw! <laughs> Let's take a turn! Whoa. Um, I think it's broken. It's not broken, Max. We just need to add more weight to Goo's end. Perfectly balanced! Are you sure you're doing it right, Goo? I am sure that I'm having fun! <laughs> We helped make the Squiggly Serpent Seesaw work at the Monster Daycare Center. And we did it by knowing all about heavy and light. Great job, Monster Math Squad. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three, howl! We, we did, did the math! math. We, we did, did the, the Monster Math! math. <laughs>